Since there are a lot of myths circulating about HIV and AIDS, it is important to know the facts. The next activity is going to help you with that. I will give you a worksheet about HIV, AIDS, and you will have to determine whether the statements are myths or facts. A myth is something that is false, and a fact is something that is true. It's important to have accurate information so that you can use that information to protect yourself. Pause the video now and do the myth or fact sheet, and then come back when you are done. Alright, so the first question, AIDS is a medical condition in which your body cannot fight off diseases. That is a fact. HIV weakens the immune system. Age is the stage of HIV where the immune system has become very weak and damaged. When this happens, other diseases and infections can more easily enter the body. Number two, AIDS is caused by a virus. Fact, AIDS is caused by HIV, which is the human immunodeficiency virus. Number three, if you hug someone with AIDS, you can get HIV. That is a myth. HIV is not passed by casual everyday contact. It's only passed through infected body fluids, including blood, semen, vaginal secretions, and rectal fluids. Number four, anyone can get HIV. That is true. Anyone who has unprotected sex or shares needles or other injection equipment with someone with HIV is at risk. It's what people do, not who they are, that puts them at risk for HIV. Number five, AIDS can be cured. That is a myth. There is currently no cure for HIV or AIDS, although medical care and treatment can help people with HIV keep their viral load low enough so that they live long, healthy lives and it is undetectable in the blood. Number six. HIV can be spread by using someone's personal belongings, such as a comb or hairbrush. That is a myth. HIV is only spread through an exchange of certain body fluids, including blood, semen, vaginal secretions, or rectal fluids. And it does have to get into an open abrasion. Number seven. If a pregnant woman is HIV positive, there is a chance the virus may be past her unborn baby. That is a fact. A pregnant a pregnant woman can pass HIV to the fetus before birth or to a newborn baby through breastfeeding. She can take medicines to greatly lower the risk of the baby being born with HIV. Number eight, you can tell by looking whether someone is HIV positive. That is a myth. Many people with HIV look and feel healthy for years. They may not even know that they have the virus, so they are likely asymptomatic. Number nine, Condoms are 100% effective against the transmission of HIV. That is a myth. If used properly, latex condoms are highly effective against most STDs, including HIV. However, condoms can sometimes slip or break, and people don't always use them correctly. The only 100% effective way to avoid HIV is to abstain from sexual intercourse, including vaginal, anal, and oral, and to never share needles for any reason. Number 10. You increase your chance of getting HIV if you have sex with many people. That is a fact. The more partners a person has, the higher the chances that one of those partners will have been exposed to HIV and could pass it on. People with multiple partners should use latex or polyurethane polysoprene condoms every time with every partner to help reduce their risk. Number 11. HIV is mainly present in semen, blood, vaginal secretions, rectal fluids, and breast milk. That is true. These are the main body fluids that can transmit HIV. Number 12. If you give blood, you are at risk for getting HIV. That is a myth. There is no risk of getting HIV from giving blood. New needles and equipment are used for each donor. 13. You can catch HIV from a toilet seat. That is a myth. HIV is not passed through the air or by touching objects. 14. Lesbians don't have to worry about HIV infection. That is a myth. There are no documented cases of woman-to-woman -woman transmission of HIV where unprotected sex was the only risk factor. But like anyone else with HIV, any infected woman who has sex with other women can infect her partners during sex if certain bodily fluids are exchanged. 15. An HIV-infected mother can infect her child through breastfeeding. That is true. There are some cases in which HIV has passed from an infected mother to her baby through breastfeeding. 16. 
Birth control pills can prevent the transmission of HIV. That is a myth. The birth control pill offers very effective protection from unplanned pregnancy, but the pill and other hormonal contraceptive methods do not protect a person from HIV or other STDs. People who use the pill for birth control should still use latex, condoms, to protect themselves and their partners from HIV and other STDs. Monogamy is 100% safe, number 17. That is a myth. Theoretically, having sex with only one uninfected partner who only has sex with you will protect a person from HIV. Both partners need to be tested before they have sex to be sure they are HIV negative and neither person can ever share needles or have sex with anyone else. But partners are not always faithful or may not know that they have HIV. Abstinence, which is not having sex, is the only 100% safe way to prevent HIV transmission. Number 18. If you kiss someone with HIV, you will get the virus. That is a myth. You cannot get HIV from a kiss on the cheek or a closed mouth kiss. There are extremely rare cases of HIV being transmitted via deep French kissing, but in each case, infected blood was exchanged due to bleeding gums or sores in the mouth. Because of this remote risk, it is recommended that individuals who are HIV positive avoid deep, open-mouth French kissing with a non-affected partner as there is a potential risk of transferring infected blood. Number 19. Having unprotected sex with someone who is HIV positive is one way of getting it. That is a fact. That includes vaginal, anal, and oral sex. Any form of sex in which blood, semen, vaginal, or rectal fluids are exchanged pose a risk of HIV infection. Number 20. You can get HIV by sharing a needle with someone who is infected. That is a fact. Because the virus can be spread through blood-to-blood contact, the person using a contaminated needle or syringe is at high risk of getting HIV. A contaminated needle can carry the virus directly into the bloodstream. This includes needles used for body piercing and tattooing as well. Number 21. Only gay men are vulnerable to getting HIV. That is a myth. Anyone can get HIV through the exchange of blood, semen, vaginal, or rectal fluids with an infected person. Like anyone else, men who have sex with men are at higher risk only if they engage in activities that include the exchange of these fluids. 22. Injection drug users are at high risk for HIV. That is a fact. Injection drug users who share needles and works with others have an increased risk of getting HIV because drops of blood from one person can cling to the needle or works. When shooting up, infected blood can pass HIV directly into the bloodstream of another person. 23. Having anal sex increases your chances of getting HIV. That is a fact. If either partner is infected with HIV, the other partner can be infected during anal sex. Generally, the person receiving the semen is at greater risk of getting HIV because the lining of the rectum is thin and contains many blood vessels. However, the person who inserts the penis is also at risk if the partner is infected because HIV can enter through sores or abrasions on the penis. If people are going to engage in anal sex, using a condom and lubrication can help reduce their risk of getting HIV and other STDs, but it is still considered a risky behavior. Unprotected oral sex, mouth on a partner's penis, vagina, or anus increases a person's chances of getting HIV. That is a fact. The vagina, anus, and mouth are lined with sensitive tissues called mucous membranes, which can come in contact with blood, semen, vaginal secretions, or rectal fluids during all types of intercourse. The virus can enter an uninfected person's bloodstream through tiny tears in the mucous membranes that occurred during sex or that were there beforehand. These tears can be very small, existing without any pain or visible blood to act as a warning sign. Now that we have straightened out the myths and the facts, I hope that you can take this knowledge and move forward and be an advocate for people around you as well as yourself.